Swiss officials defend alleged spying on German tax fraud investigators. Senior Swiss government officials, including the defense minister and the director of the country's intelligence agency, have defended Switzerland's right to spy on European tax fraud investigators who meddle in Swiss affairs. Earlier this week, German authorities announced the arrest of a Swiss national who was allegedly spying on the activities of German tax fraud investigators in Frankfurt. According to German officials and media reports, the man, identified only as Daniel Lem, is an employee of the Swiss Federal Intelligence Service. The agency, known by its German language initials, NDB, is Switzerland's main intelligence organization. As Intel News reported on Monday, Daniel M. was said to be monitoring the activities of German tax fraud investigators who have been trying for years to stop German citizens from having secret bank accounts abroad. In the past decade, German authorities have paid nearly $100 million to employees of Swiss banks in return for information about the identities of German bank account holders in the small Alpine country. The Swiss government has strongly criticized Berlin for encouraging Swiss banking sector employees to steal internal corporate information, a practice that goes against Switzerland's stringent privacy laws. On Tuesday, Germany's foreign minister, Sigmar Gabriel, summoned Switzerland's ambassador to Germany, Christine Schreiner Bergener, to the foreign ministry, in order to discuss Daniel M.S. arrest. A press statement that the foreign ministry sent on Tuesday to the German media said that the meeting had been called in the interest of German-Swiss friendship. But the Swiss do not appear to be interested in discussing. On Tuesday, Marcus Sieler, director of the NDB, defended his agency's right to spy on anyone who uses illegal methods in Switzerland to steal state or business secrets. Sieler, who was speaking in Bern classified all such practices as espionage targeting the Swiss economy. Asked by reporters whether Daniel M. was an NDB employee, Seela said he could not comment. But he defended the NDB's right to fight the theft of business secrets and uphold Swiss laws. He also refused to specify whether the NDB is active in Germany, stating instead that the agency is active at home and abroad. Switzerland's Minister of Defense, Guy Parmelin, who supervises the NDB's activities, was equally general when asked to discuss the arrest of Daniel M. He said simply that he and other Swiss government officials had to protect the NDB's methods and source.